Hello friends, today we're going to be jumping into a new series of vanilla Minecraft deep dives. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between armor and armor toughness. But before we begin, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed every time someone does, YouTube gives me a notification about it, and it just makes my day. So if you could please consider checking to see if you're subscribed, it would mean the world to me. It's completely free, it only takes two seconds, and if you want to unsubscribe later, it's totally okay. Thank you all so much for helping to change my life one sub at a time. Alright, so the super short basic version is that armor reduces damage taken and armor toughness increases the effectiveness of armor against larger sources of damage. Thank you so much for watching. Just kidding. Now for a more in-depth explanation. First off, as everyone knows, armor points are the little armor symbols above your health bar, right here. They are granted by all types of armor and go from 0 to 20, where 0 is wearing no armor at all, and 20 is wearing full netherite, or full diamond. Armor toughness is granted only by diamond and netherite, and can be seen by hovering over the armor in your inventory. As you can see, that's that armor toughness right below the armor. Neither of these stats are affected by the enchantments that are or are not on the armor. To understand the damage reduction granted by armor, we first need to understand damage. There are a variety of types of damage in Minecraft, from melee attacks, arrows, tridents, fireballs, explosions, lightning, the list goes on and on. Rather than tell you all the types of damage which are reduced by armor, I'm just going to tell you which types aren't. So the types of damage that armor points do not protect you from are, introducing my lovely assistant, fall damage, fire damage, suffocation damage, Entity cramming, drowning, except with turtle shells, starvation, the evoker's fang attack, instant damage potions, the ender dragon's breath attack, void damage, oh, slash kill damage, and finally freezing damage coming in 1.17 with the powder snow block, which you can expect a full video on in the future. Oh, but uh... Uh, for now, I guess just a... Damn. Everything else, as of 1.16, and preliminary knowledge of 1.17, is reduced by armor points. But by how much? Well, Minecraft's armor system is rather unique in that armor points reduce a smaller percentage of incoming damage the larger that incoming damage is. So while a set of armor may provide, say, a 40% damage reduction against a wood sword, it may only provide a 20% against a diamond sword. This is the same if the weapon is enchanted, if it's a critical hit, or anything. No matter how the instance of damage got its increase, the bigger the number, the lower percent of damage reduction. This all means that armor points protect you more from weaker attacks, which makes sense. A pair of winter gloves will protect you from a paper cut, but won't do much against a chainsaw. Armor toughness, the stat only provided by diamond and netherite, reduces the percentage change in armor point damage reduction as damage goes up. So the higher your armor toughness, the more your armor protects you against stronger attacks. As a result, with a maximum 20 armor points, armor can reduce damage by up to slightly less than 80%, as each armor point provides 4% maximum damage reduction. The more armor toughness we have, the higher that percent will be against stronger opponents. With full netherite, we'll have 12 armor toughness, meaning that for each point of damage coming at us, our armor point damage reduction percentage will be reduced by 8% instead of 2%. So if I have an attack that's dealing one damage, instead of blocking 80%, it would actually block 79.2%. But if I have an attack that deals 10 damage, instead of blocking 80% or 79.2%, it'll block 72%, because it's 0.8% per point of attack damage. One last thing, something a lot of people don't realize is that each piece of netherite armor reduces knockback dealt to you by 10%. That's what that plus one knockback resistance means up to a maximum of 40% with full netherite armor. This is huge in combat, and it is only provided by netherite, so take advantage if your opponent doesn't have it. For example, this is a knockback 2, and that is not what knockback 2 is supposed to look like. This is knockback 5. Hello? That's more like it. And this is knockback 2 and knockback 5, respectively, without netherite. That's quite a difference. I hope this explanation helped. I know a lot of people struggle with understanding this mechanic, so hopefully you can take at least one thing from all this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds, and it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.